there's an old saying that goes, every cloud has a silver lining. And basically it means that even in the worst of circumstances, there is some good that can come of the situation. The phrase is traced back to a poem by John Milton and it has its roots in a natural phenomenon that even in a, a cloudy, stormy sky, the sun is still back there shining. And the sun finds ways to let us know that it's shining. And it will illuminate the edges of the clouds and produce that silver lining. Um, there's some truth there uh, for our circumstances as well. Um, it may sound shallow or a little naive in the moment to say every cloud has a silver lining to someone who is really experiencing the clouds um, can come off a little weak um, to someone who has lost a loved one to a virus to someone who has suffered damage because of a tornado to someone who is suffering alone in a hospital because their loved ones can't come to them, someone who's lost a job because of a pandemic, um, they may find no comfort at all in that phrase. But naive or shallow or weak or not, there is some truth behind it. And there is some scriptural evidence that there are silver linings. Uh, throughout scripture, we see God taking bad situations and making something good out of them. He takes the negative and brings out a positive. Take, for example, Joseph. His brothers sold him into slavery but when it all worked out, Joseph said, what they meant for evil, God used for good. And even the crucifixion itself is probably the ultimate magnificent example of God taking something horrible and making something beautiful out of it. Um, there are... There are scriptures um, that sum up kind of this truth of the silver lining. Romans 8, 28, which says we, we know that God is working things out for good for those who love him, for those who are called according to his purpose. That pretty much sums it up. That no matter what the circumstances are, God is working something good for the people who love him. Um, there are a couple of other examples as well. James uh, says this in chapter 1. He says, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. And then Paul also certainly embraced this idea of the good coming through and triumphing over the bad. Uh, in Philippians, when Paul is talking about his imprisonment and the circumstances of his writing this letter, he says, I want you to know, my dear brothers and sisters, that everything that has happened to me here, being arrested and thrown in prison, everything that has happened to me here has helped to spread the good news. For everyone here, including the whole palace guard, knows that I am in chains because of Christ. And because of my imprisonment, most of the believers here have gained confidence and boldly speak God's message without fear. And so as we're going through difficult circumstances and the darkest clouds are around, God is still at work. You see the impact that it has on our own lives, 
on the lives of the people around us, those in the family of faith and those out of the family of faith, they see what's happening and God uses those circumstances to do something special and good. Um, I've had the opportunity recently to see so many silver linings and it's become a, a thing for me during these days is to look for the silver linings. And I've seen many examples. I've seen people rediscovering the joy of a simple phone call and having a conversation with somebody. I've seen people enjoying seeing each other's faces and hearing each other's voices on a video meeting. I've seen people out in neighborhoods helping to clean up after tornadoes. I've seen people in the neighborhoods feeding and thanking the people doing the work. I think there are silver linings emerging from this whole situation. And I think when we write our story about this time in our lives, these silver linings are going to be an important part of that story. And so uh, recently, thinking about these things, a song has been playing in my mind. Uh, it's a song called Look for the Silver Lining. And it was written in 1919, just after the end of the First World War, which was a pretty dark time itself and it's a simple song uh, but it does express this profound truth and if we will just look for the silver linings in the midst of these circumstances these strange days God is at work and he is making himself known and he is using people to create these silver linings that frame in his light these dark times. And so this is a simple song, but it has encouraged me. It's by no means a hymn, but I enjoy it and it's given me comfort and I hope it will lift your spirits too. Look for the silver lining Whene'er a cloud appears in the blue Remember somewhere the sun is shining And so the right thing to do Is make it shine for you A heart full of joy and gladness will always banish sadness and strife so always look for the silver lining and try to find the sunny side of life 